Hi everyone, I thought I would give you guys an update on how Gatsby's been feeling. As you guys may know, the past few months have been really, really hard on us. At the end of July, Gatsby was diagnosed with nasal cancer. It really hit me very hard because Gatsby has been such a healthy dog. He had been sneezing for a lot of the year, but his sneezes started to get really bloody and after a while he was showing signs that he couldn't even breathe from his nose anymore. That had brought him to the vet many times and I thought it was allergies. Once it started bleeding, I was thinking maybe it was something a lot more serious. Nasal cancers tend to spread very, very fast. Every day, Gatsby was getting weaker and weaker, especially in the Bay Area. It is very hard to get an appointment at the vets. I couldn't even get Gatsby into the oncologist to be seen. I don't know if I can handle this. We got so much support from all of you guys trying to help out and luckily one of our viewers who's a student at UC Davis oncology department saw a cancellation and was able to get Gatsby and me seen and they were able to do radiation treatment to treat him for his nasal cancer. Gatsby showed a really good reaction to all of the treatment. He did lose some of his fur. It has been about two months since the radiation treatment and as you can see his fur is finally growing back. Look at that. It's already looking really good, Gatsby. It's still pretty patchy there. You're so handsome. I have been taking the best care I can with Gatsby with all of your help. I've been bringing him to the holistic vet where he gets acupuncture. We redid his full diet so that it is helping him recover from the cancer. And you know what? I'm happy to say Gatsby is feeling pretty much back to normal. For nasal cancers, unfortunately, they do say that dogs will survive for about a year after the treatment. Although, I can't, we can't say that he beat cancer. He's doing so well and, and we need to celebrate those times because, you know, we're gonna remember, we're gonna remember all the times. I'm just so happy that we got this time back together and, you know, we're not gonna take it for granted. You're feeling better, we gotta, we gotta celebrate. I just wanna thank you for helping out. Look at Gatsby, he is just doing so much better now. And a lot of it is thanks to you guys as well. It, it really did help. Thank you, thank you. Oh my gosh. How are you feeling? Are we gonna go? Okay, okay. Let's go. <laughs> So we're back. Hello vlog after college viewers. I hope you're ready for your big calendar launch. Ryan and Gatsby have been working very hard these past few months. Okay Alexa, hold your horses. We'll get to that soon, but first... You know what we haven't done in a while? Played an ukulele song. Can you guess what song I'm playing? Write it down in the comments below. Come on Gatsby, we want to say goodnight to you.
It's time for an aquarium update! There hasn't been one in months! And last time it was in pretty bad shape. What happened? I had my aquarium friend come over and service the tank. He was saying the tank was doing super poorly because the filtration system, which is the built-in protein skimmer, was no good. And so I replaced it and it has been filtering out all of the gunk in the tank so much better than before. Here's our new protein skimmer right over here. Look at this. It has been doing a really good job of taking out all of the gross, dirty water. We gotta throw this away. The old protein skimmer was not doing a good job at removing the scum. There was always nothing in that removable cup. But this new one captures quite a lot. The tank's water is looking crystal clear because of that. The coral look way happier. The fishies look way happier. The toadstool leather has made a full recovery. It's gigantic. I put it in the back of the tank so it can get as big as it wants. I was planning on adding more coral and more fish, but right now, due to everything that's been going on, I really just have just been maintaining the tank. It it really brightens up the room, especially during the winter months. I also have plants everywhere, and that's because the water evaporates a lot, so all the plants really enjoy all the moisture around the aquarium. Anyway, that's your aquarium update. Things are going really good. <laughs> you guys, we made it to the Asian market. We haven't been here in so long. I'm gonna cook something for Gatsby for dinner today. He is on his keto diet. Let's go and get the ingredients. I'm excited. This is the first time I visited the Asian market in a really long time. Let's check out what they have. So the first thing that caught my eye are these boiled eggs. 99 cents each. They're usually $20. But they expired today. I thought I would try it anyway. <laughs> On the other side, the $27 smoked eggs were almost sold out. I grabbed some Japanese Takana vegetables. Ooh, these pastries look good. We're going to do a Japanese style hot pot, so I had to grab some ponzu sauce. Here's the selection of beef. $129.99 per pound. These beef chunks look dog friendly. And I grabbed some thinly sliced beef for myself. Whoa, look at these Matsutake mushrooms, $70 a pound. Even the Napa cabbage is expensive at $10. Oh my gosh, I love these. I've been craving these for a while. Melon bars, have you had them? And of course we have to check out the Pokemon candy section. made it like old times. I haven't done a shopping haul in so long. So we got to eat the eggs today. That's why they were 99 cents for all of these. Gatsby, I got our food. I got some food for us. Do you smell? Oh, we're gonna eat good tonight. Oh, okay. Yeah, celebration. We gotta celebrate. It's time for me to reveal everything that I've been working so hard on for a while now. Usually for the Christmas merchandise, it does take many, many, many months of planning. For a while, I was pretty much like, I don't think I'm even gonna make any merchandise anymore. We had pretty much canceled the calendar for a while. But after all of this, the oncologists and everybody was saying, you should really do the calendar. And then when we decided to do it, it was kind of like a real hustle to get everything done. Shall we show them all the merchandise we've been working on. Here's how we shot the cover for my Corgi's 2023 calendar. I got the famous photographer Koki Yamaguchi from Tokyo to fly to California to shoot Gatsby's seventh calendar. And here's how we did it. First off, we shot Gatsby, who is a true pro. We got the pose right away. Then I ran with all the carp kites at different distances to fill the sky. And here's the final result. What do you think? Ta-da! It's a beautiful day for a Corgi. This calendar is so special. And stay tuned to later in the vlog because I will reveal to you all of the photos in the calendar. It's amazing that we even got a calendar done this year. And it's amazing that we got any of the merchandise done too that you're about to see. Because I lost a few months of planning, this time the merchandise will be released in two waves. So this is gonna be the first wave. We just got in the new t-shirt design. Are you ready to see? I'm excited to see what it looks like. Oh, surfing Gatsby. No sweat. Long sleeves for the first time. Are you gonna think they're really small? It gives me that like Hawaii surf vibe. I really like it. And here's 
the tie-dye one. On top of that, I did a restock of the Japanese corgi shirts, Himalayan pink sea salt color, and we have the grape soda color. I also have a restock of the T-Rex shirt, including a new color. Also, new stickers. We have them in an inner tube, sideways corgi. I stuck that one on the back of my monitor here. <laughs> one of my favorite keychains. I've restocked the zipper pouches and included a few new designs. You can use them for whatever you want. You can use it as a pencil case to hold makeup, hold your gaming dice cards. I restocked the embroidered beanies. New shopping bags. These are made from recycled plastic. They're eco-friendly. Check it out. Donuts all over it. This green one has a totally new design on it. Also looks really nice. Due to popular demand, I also restocked the Corgi close-up bag. These make a super great gift as well. So that is wave one of the Christmas merchandise. Hopefully in two weeks, we will get wave two. I'm actually really excited for the second wave. It includes new lanyards, a small restock of the plush, as well as the enamel mugs. Here is the sneak peek of the new artwork that I got from a totally new artist. It's going in a totally different direction than all the other artwork that we've done. Here's a new hoodie, keeping a classy corgi on fleek. And we have new sweatshirts as well. And one more thing, a special project that I've been working really hard on. I just got the prototype in right now and it looks so good. Embroidered with Gatsby. Check out the embroidery work. It has three different types of embroidery here. See, as you can see, we have like the fuzzy embroidery, knit embroidery, and we have like the traditional stitch embroidery vlog after college. Quirky on fleek. I really like this quirky over here, the sleeping one. Ah, oh, we got everything here. Broccoli, watermelon, surfing corgi, donuts, of course, ukulele. Gatsby, that pillow is bigger than you. I could just hug this forever. So that is everything that I've been working on. If you enjoy any of our content and want to support us, make sure to go to corgionfleet.com at the end of the vlog. I've been working on these projects day and night, really hard hustling, trying to get this all put together in time. And I can't believe that I was actually able to release like anything by this date. The calendar is of course our biggest project. I'm so excited for you guys to see the rest of the pictures, so make sure to stay tuned to the end of the vlog because you're in for a treat. The pictures are so good. My friends, Sambert and Idoline had a baby. So right now I thought we would go and visit them with Gatsby and take all of their doggies on a really nice long walk. Gatsby, do you want to meet baby Lena? Baby and three dogs. Yeah, we're walking on cloud nine. I've been a fool to live without your love. It's like I've been waiting around for you. Why did you take so long to come to me? Maybe you were waiting round for me too. You did it, you walked two miles, I think. So we are gonna cook tabletop just like the olden times. I'm so excited. Are you excited for the food? Yeah. <laughs> Ta -da! Beautiful. We're gonna add some boiling water. It'll heat up a lot faster. This is our tabletop hot pot. We're gonna season the water Japanese style, which is with kombu, which is seaweed. Just kinda like stick inside. It gives the broth an umami flavor. So Konzu sauce is like lemony citrus soy sauce. It's super good. Yes, we can't have rice anymore. He is on the keto diet, so no carbohydrates for him. This looks like so much fun. Okay, you're gonna stay right there, okay? We'll start off with some of the veggies and the meat. We'll put some veggies in first. He's like, I'm so ready! <laughs> 
This is for you. It's already cut up. I got me some shabu shabu meat. The shabu shabu meat is cut really thin so that it'll cook really fast. So for Gatsby's meat, I'm not gonna cook it all the way. I'm just gonna blanch it to kill all the bacteria on the outside and then you'll just be able to eat it. Put it in cold water so that it cools down. What did you think? Is that good? Okay, so this is what the egg looks like. It's like very watery, but it looks pretty good. He's trying the veggies. What do you think? Is that good? Now he's eating it. While Gatsby's eating his, I'm gonna try some of my own stuff too. Mmm! Mmm! It's kind of like a bok choy. The bonzu sauce is like so lemony. It's so good. Ta-da! I'm gonna try the egg first because I'm interested to see. Mmm! Wow, that egg is so good. It's so creamy. Look at that yolk. Mm -hmm. That's so good. A little bit more beef for Gatsby. Yeah. Okay. Gatsby's seconds. Okay. This is so much fun. Ah, uh, Gatsby, we gotta do this every week. It's so good. Mm. And you're eating your veggies. Good boy. Is this a good time? I'm sure you like it, right? I enjoy it. I'm so happy that we're doing this again. Yes, we haven't done it in so long. For dessert. Ta -da! I used to eat these when I was like a little kid. Mm. <laughs> These are so good. It basically tastes like a really creamy honeydew melon. In the comments below, let me know if you've had these. They're so, so good. Gatsby, what did you think of that dinner? Wasn't it so good? <laughs> you guys have been so patient. It's finally time for me to reveal all of the photos from the calendar. Right now, I am driving over to the airport to pick up Koki. He's flying in from Japan, from Tokyo. Look who it is! We just picked up Koki Gatsby. Do you remember who this is? Do you remember? Of course he does. <laughs> I have been a huge fan of Koki for a while. I'm so glad that he decided and agreed to come back and return and do Gatsby's calendar again for this year. Today is our first day of shooting the new calendar. Hey, morning! <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Koki came with the idea that we're gonna string them like this with string across. Let's see, what do you think, Gatsby? Stand by you when you're falling. It's the behind the scenes. When the river is calling. We did it. Said I love you forever. We can make it together. What goes up? Must come down. There's lots of friendly faces all around. And that was a lot of work. You can be Just drove to Capitola Beach in Santa Cruz. Stand by you when you're falling. When the river is calling. We have matching hands. I love you forever. We can make it together. I think we got it, Gatsby. Hopefully second time's the charm. 
he's dead. It's a quite difficult shot. It is still dark outside. We are waiting for the sunrise. Great smile, seeing you struggle with the things you do. Carry and no one on your shoulder. Where did we become so much older? So we're at my friend's backyard right now. We have our rug, food, and lots of props. Thank Hoki, you guys. He did a really good job. Welcome back, what did you think? It's time for me to reveal to you guys the centerfold poster that appears in every single calendar. Here it is. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called the present. This poster comes with all the calendars. You can hang it up while waiting for 2023 to arrive. And once the year is over, you still have the poster. These Corgi on Fleek calendars make a perfect gift. You're essentially buying a year's worth of Corgi happiness. Just imagine like every day waking up to a smiling Corgi picture. Oh, also I forgot to mention something special. For those of you who are new to the calendars, we have a special edition. A potograph calendar with Gatsby's real paw print and my autograph. These are limited edition for true vlog after college fans. So if you want to get a signed calendar, those are also available in the store. And make sure to grab it if you really want it. I always get so many emails all the time with people saying, I wish I had gotten the signed calendar when it was available. Well, that is going to do it for us for this vlog. Gatsby, I'm so glad you're feeling well. And anytime that you are feeling well, that's cause for celebration. Now is the time to go to corgionfleet.com check out all of our merchandise. Please be patient while Gatsby and I ship out all of the orders. Check out our website to see how you can get the Christmas card and stay tuned for the second wave of the merch drop. <laughs> Thank you. Hey Gatsby, check out this awesome fan. We made it to the house that we're staying at with our family. What do you think? 